Hi everyone, welcome back to another episode. Um, so we finished last tournament, have a look, we finished in 8th place, not too bad. Uh, we're starting another tournament which begins today, which I'm going to join in a second. But before that, I'm going to do all my dailies, my raiding and bits and bobs. And uh, basically, just go through the normal guide of, of what you should be doing um, on a daily basis. So, here's a quick rundown of what I do every single day so the key things into raising your account is that two times a week you're going to have tournaments which is on a wednesday and sunday depending on your uh, where you live and what your time um so in pre preparation for this you should be leveling up your books of shadows um preferably high you don't have to go stupidly high like 80 90 percent when we say 80 90 percent ltr this is lifetime relics when we're talking about leveling up percentages we're talking about this bar here so the percentage so if you click on any artifact you can see that's like 0 0.00 so if someone says oh well, have you leveled up your books shadows or bos to 80 percent they mean this figure here just to let you know so you want to raise that as high as you can in between tournaments you can level up your other artifacts as well but the key thing is don't buy any artifacts in between tournaments you should only be discovering uh, new artifacts in tournaments now the reason being is because the criteria so this is potential they call it potential um, is basically everything apart from uh, unspent diamonds and shards everything else is taken into account so pets total relics um power uh you know skill points everything so there's really no point banking relics and and anything else but what can do in your favor that what helps you get to first place and makes it easier uh, to win those first place tournaments is um your luck of collection so this collection pool are uh, these are the artifacts that i'm gonna um get when i discover um when i start a tournament so when i join a tournament i'll then start discovering um discovering artifacts now they you can get lucky and get loads loads of s tier or a tier artifacts or you can be unlucky and get a couple of b's but if you're fortunate to get a tiers which is a higher ranking one and then you level them up that's going to put you in a much better position than someone else who gets lower ranking ones plus you'll be using an artifact optimizer so you'll be using a tool to tell you exactly where to spend them and also be using a build guide to help you basically get the best build and preparation so with that combination um, of <clears throat> Uh, buying well getting discovered high level artifacts leveling them up correctly um, using a build guide uh, also buying pets in the shop you should only buy pets those are the unspent diamonds i was mentioned so saving diamonds to buy just pets these kind of things will help you that little bit better over your competitor and get you that first place and the reason you want to get first place as as a free to play player um, that gives you the most rewards you can in game compared to anything else so as you can see you get 100 crafting shards 14 eggs 900 diamonds you can't really without spending money you can't get that kind of uh, resource uh, as a free to play so you really want to get first place tournaments as much as i can so in preparations throughout the week during the week, you should be doing all your dailies. So when I mean dailies, you should be doing all these. You should be watching your video, doing all the prestigion, doing collecting items, collect pets. You should definitely be collecting all these, mainly for your diamonds, so you get a good resource. But also, it helps out your clan um, with the morale collecting. So these little flag things because you also want to be raiding that's the second part you should be doing daily. You want to be raiding as much as you can because um, raid again helps with increase your damage it helps with the dust collection and that helps overall increase your uh potential your power in the game so you want to do raiding and tournaments are two biggest things in this game uh everything else like you know your, your um events your world quests they definitely help as well but your two main ones are tournament raiding and then pretty much doing anything else you can. So doing all these worlds to collect all the resources because you can get eggs, you can get um, no dust, cards, more eggs, uh, skill points. They, they all help. Every little bit helps. It's basically essentially doing everything you can daily um, to increase your overall progress in the game. Uh, also, we have something called a soft wall and a hard wall. Uh, soft wall normally happens uh, when you basically level up 
consistently. So when you first start the game, it's tempting, but you want to push as hard as you can. The only problem with that, you've got limited resources per week. So as I mentioned, uh, you can only level up, I'm sorry, you can only do two raids and two tournaments a week. So that's limited resources you can collect. So if you continuously push, so if you're leveling every single every single run, you're going to run out and you hit a wall because there's no more resources left to collect. That's what we call soft wall. So you, you're used to leveling maybe 500 stages per run and all of a sudden you can only level maybe 10, 20 stages. So you suddenly slow down and that's because you, there's nothing else to collect. You've collected everything. You've, you know, you've leveled up all your artifacts. You've done all, all the, the dailies and tournaments. So that's why also um, there's another reason why you should only push twice a week in tournaments one because you it helps you uh, save your resources to get first place that's the most important thing if you push all the time you're using those resources um so there's less chance of you in tournaments to basically get a higher position um and secondly if you do start hitting a soft wall you start getting like bored of the game because your progression slows down and you tend to quit and it puts you off the game so take your time uh level up i'm um, sorry Level up your book shadows in between tournament. You can level up the other artifacts. Just don't buy any new artifacts. Uh, don't buy any pets or anything else or any equipment like that. Uh, save that all for in tournament only. Use those optimizers. Use those guides. Watch my videos all for all the tips, and it will make the game more enjoyable. Uh, make sure you raid, talk to clan mates, get those tips and other bits and bobs, and you will have a easy time uh, about it. So now I'm gonna quickly do all my. Um, I'm gonna progress in the background quickly while I do all my um, daily stuff to to progress, and then I will join the tournament, and then I'll do my raiding uh, while leveling everything else up at the same time. Right, so I've got to level up my heroes so they progress quicker in the background, and then I'll do a bit of raiding and I'll show you my if you're interested about raid information I'll show you my raid decks all right so let's do a bit of raiding well not the solo world I'm gonna do raid 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 so I've got eight attacks um so they target everything apart from the legs so I've got a lot of armor left so I'm gonna use some armor parts to give it a torso in hand I'll do torso first because that's the highest one so for torso let's level that up quickly I'm gonna use a tot for first so it's, that's a one body hit. That's a, we call them tot, T O T, uh, or totem. Um, so I'm just going to do one single body part. And these are the, the cards that he used for the to, uh, totem deck. And it's just in a tiny little circle um, as fast as I can in its stomach. Uh, so I'm not going up and down. I'm not just tapping it. I'm doing a tiny little circle um, on in the middle as much as the middle as I can. And that should get me the highest amount of hits and while collecting all these fairies that are aiming towards its torso. So once we've done the tiny little torso, um, so I've got nearly 600 taps. Uh, it should be 600 as a maximum, uh, but the reason is because I'm using a mouse and not an actual phone. I tend to be better on the phone, the mouse not so much. Don't know why, don't know why. So the second one will probably be CSB torso. Let's find it. There you go. So CSB stands for Clanship Barrage. Um, and I'm going to do Torso 1. But it's got to be a burst. So when you change, you can swap in the middle card. So at the moment it's Limb. And if I want to swap it to Torso, which is this one, uh, it's, you've got to make sure it's a burst one. It does better damage. Um, so I'll use that in the Torso. <coughs> do do do. So again, it's because it's a CSB deck, which is, this is what this is, a ship Barrage deck. Um, it, again, it's one body part deck to use. So you just select one body part. It doesn't matter if it's armoured or, bod um, or body type uh, because it, it does damage to both. So it's not... The same with the Totem one. Again, the previous deck, Totem deck, it doesn't matter if it's armoured or body. There's no preference. So you just use whatever. So that's done. Now I'm going to do an armor deck, but I'm going to use TT. That sounds for Team Tactics, which is, let's bring it back, that one. Um, use these because that's going to level up uh, the overall damage of clans. So you use this at the beginning of the raid, so the first two or three cycles. Uh, so I'm going to do armored, again, torso, or probably, you shouldn't really use flak, but I'm going to use it because I've got so much hits to get in because I, I missed a deck. So I'm going to do 
That's armor only. That's flak. That means you use it on armor, but it will hit corresponding body types. So if you've got more than one body showing, then an armor type, um, sorry, a flak would be quite good to use. I'm mainly just using this to get the TT up. So you only use TT in the first few cycles, first few rounds of your raid to get up your overall clan damage for the rest of the team. So make sure all your team members are using that. You want to get up to 10% minimum, minimum. All right, so I'm doing these, tickling its belly. Again, was a one body hit this one. It's not a cycle deck because a one body hit. Armor only. Little circles. All right, next one, I'm going to do TP. So this is Thriving Plague. That's what it stands for. And it's this deck. Um, so that's what the TP is, this, this item here, Thriving Plague. Uh, and this is the cycle deck, and again, it doesn't matter if it's armor or body. It tends to do a bit better with armor, but it doesn't really matter which one. And you do little circles on all parts that you need to hit. So you want to do all of them. So all the parts. You go around and around. That's not a pretty good example. Normally, if you had more body parts, it would be a bit, bit better. But, eh. All right, let's do that. Two, one. That's the cycle deck. And the next one we're going to do is, so look. Uh, that's the cycle deck as well. That's limb. But I want to do armor. So I'm going to do limb, limb. And another armor deck. This is the armor one. So this is a limb part, limb part, and armor, which I'm going to use it on the hand. And that's, again, one body part. You could use um, with limb parts, if I had like a fuse with it, I could done a cycle, um, but just on limbs only. But because it's just um, two, two limb parts, there's no point. It's got to be more than that. So I'm just going to use it on armor only, just on its hand. Or her hand, I don't know, Sterile's uh, boy or girl. And that's that one. Oh, I can see that the thing's not attacking, so I'm quickly get this sorted. So it's doing some grinding in the background. Because when, when I'm doing some raiding, if I notice that this icon is saying um, not by uh, well not f to engage in battle. Then I know it's not doing anything in background, so I'll quickly do it. Uh, right, uh, what's the next one? That's a limb only. It's a cycle deck, but unfortunately, um, we haven't got all the limbs showing just yet, so I can't use that yet. I'm just going to level these up so I can increase my raid damage, um, and that leaves. What else we got? So that's a nice another cycle deck which I'm going to leave as fusion. Again, it's body type only because of this card. Um, so I've got two body only cycle decks to use up. And what else have we got? It's pretty like ad hoc stuff. That's the limb one I could use. A head we've got a head one. I could do head only. Yeah, I think I'm going to do that. So level up this up a bit more. So I'm going to do head only. That's a head type, and then I'm going to swap this to a head one here. There you go. So this is a, a random one put together. It's not really a, a one that you would use um, on a normal cycle. It's just because I've got so many rounds to use up. I'm, I need to do any deck combination I can. Because unfortunately I missed the 12 hour window. So I normally would do four attacks at the this stage, but I've got eight because I missed one. So it's stacked up. I have got a raid guide coming out soon. I'm just um, finishing off the strategies on them. So make sure you've got the bell on that one so you know it's fine. It should be hopefully at the end of this week. So what else we got? Uh, how many attacks we've got left? Three, two. It's got two, two left for the cycles. I'm going to wait for these to clear before I use them. 
because I think those two cycle decks would be way better than anything else I could put together at the moment because I could use them but that would be part of the cycle that's part of the cycle I'd love this up if you want there we go yeah based on what I've got left I'm going to hold off now on the last two attacks I've still got four and a half hours so hopefully the rest of my clan can um Got any hits left? Some people got loads of hit left compared to all his team. So if they can get hit in and kill these, oh, it definitely looks like that could be done. So hopefully they clear off, and then I can do those two body type cycles, and that should be it. Uh, let's see if there's any clan members. It was on two days ago. Oof, might have to do some kicking. Might have to do some kicking. All right, let's have a look at the status of joining the tournament. That's the next thing we need to do. Douche, douche, douche. Ooh. I've got to watch that video. So much I need to watch. I miss my VIP account. All right, let's just join it. Um, yeah. And see where we are. Very just lost count. Actually, um, had a lot of stuff. Oh, it took away my diamonds. How dare they? How dare they? How very dare they? All right, first thing you do when you start a new run, uh, level up your heroes first. Now, the reason you should le always level up your heroes first is because they provide you extra uh, resources. So each account has something like look, this has all critical damage. Uh, one has one will have. Um, like mana, see look, this one had mana, so mana regeneration, mana uh, capacity, and also it means that you can start grinding in the background. Now the reason you want to do all the heroes uh, first is because it will increase your mana regeneration and mana pool so you can activate your spells, uh, bigger spells, sooner than later, if you want to do it a bit quicker. So I'll show you what I mean. So I'm just going to do all these first. Uh, so level these, not much left. Oh man, this is so time consuming. Do do do. Some of them are singles, some of them are not. Not that one. Do do. Now, if you're wondering why I have to, one of them, some of them, they take one click and all of it levels up to max, and others I have to click several times. Now, the reason for this is masteries. So, if you go to masteries, you can see some of them have uh, weapons and some of them don't. The ones have weapons will fully level up with one click, and the ones don't have weapons yet won't. That's the reason why. So, if you ever wondered, look, that took one click to level up, that took one click. And that doesn't. That took more than one click. The reason being is because if I was look at uh, Maya, her weapon, I probably haven't got it yet. It's probably down here somewhere. I don't know. I, don't know which, I can't remember which one it was. But yeah, I'll probably, yeah, there you go. I probably haven't got a weapon yet. So that's why. Yeah, so I haven't got a weapon. So that's why it took so long. See, that's, if you ever wondered, there's your answer. Um, right, so I've done all this. Let's get these new ones done. Boosh, bosh, bash. Boosh, bosh, bash. Make sure there's no... High level ones got nope because we get rid of them. Thank you. Let's say we are we're in the tournament. So regarding the spells, now you've leveled up all your heroes, your mana pool is a lot higher than it would be. So it's 110, which originally started, it was less than that. I think it was like 50 or 60. So that's why if I was to do a full mana, I can use it. I wouldn't have been able to do a um, high level war cry or spell uh, if I didn't level up my heroes first. So that's um, why. I do that. All right, what we've got next? Thank you. Level these. Level these. Let's see how far we can get. Now, now that I've um, joined the tournament, I'm going to discover new artifacts, as I mentioned before. I'm not going to level up my book shadows now. I'm going to discover, uh, discover new artifacts and level them up. Or artifact damage by card, that's not really pointless. I'm going to then use an artifact optimizer to make sure these are leveled sufficiently. I've got one to my left, so I'm looking at it now. And then I'll progress as much as I can. Oh, Max needs out. I like maxing out the quality of life ones as soon as I can, because uh, it just gets them out of the way, to be honest. Should have enough to do most of them. So these quality life ones. Once they're done, they're done. 
Don't have to worry about them ever again. Uh, heavily strike that. I clicked the wrong one. I wasn't really paying attention. Don't, that was a bad thing. I haven't got a heavily strike build and I put shit tons into that. That was a complete waste. Don't, don't do a soul, soul rise. D be better. Be better than me. <laughs> oh, I'm going to keep that in the video because that was, that's ultra noob. Feel free, free to, uh, comment on that as you will. No, I'm not perfect. Far from it. So, um, yeah, that was, that was a good moment in my life. Right, let's see where we're at in the tournament. I'm third. Um, we've only just started, so it's got a long way to go. Five, six, nine, nine is at top. So, Nuckin... Nuckin... Fats? <laughs> that's a cool name. Uh, so, I've got a lot of pushing to do. Uh, that's pretty much what I'm going to do now. I'm just going to optimise... Uh, use optimizer, use skill build. Um, make sure I'm optimise as much as I can, push as much as I can, and then prestige, run again, run again. Uh, if if I'm, when I'm leveling up my artifacts, if my book shadows drops down to less than 5%, then I would start leveling up again. But otherwise, I just optimise, buy new artifacts first, then level up all the rest of my artifacts. Um, I hope my tips have helped you today. I hope you learned something new. If there's anything you'd like to see, uh, leave a comment below, and I'll try to do it next video. Apart from that, take care. Bye.